and welcome to another episode of Cozy Lifestyle on your FHC TVB. This is your Cozy Kitchen and as usual, I am Felicity. On today's episode, we'll be talking about health benefits of Vita Leaf. Yes, you heard me right. Vita Leaf has a lot of health benefits which you mostly ignore. Anyways, anyways, let, let me go into the show proper before I start giving you tips you shouldn't get right now. Okay, as the name implies, bitter leaf is a bitter herb uh, or plant that its extracts, barks, and stems are used for culinary and medical purposes. This leaf has quite a number of benefits people should take advantage of. Bitter leaf, scientifically known as Renonia amigdalina, is a vegetable used for preparing the popular bitter leaf soup in Nigeria, West Africa. Although, although this plant has been around for hundreds of years, only a few people know of its medicinal and healing properties. All right, all right. In Nigeria, West Africa, the Igbo people call it Omubu. The Alsas call it Shuaka. Why the Yorubas call it Ewuru? Now, let's look at the vitamins that are present in bitter leaf. You know, the vitamins present present in bitter leaves are vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin B1, and vitamin B2. It also contain, contains a lot of nutrients, and some of the nutrients are proteins, fibers, carbohydrates, ascorbic acid, uh, carotenoids, calcium, uh, uh, iron, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, sodium. Mag- manganese, copper, zinc, magnesium, and selenium. You know, I can remember one time my grandma was a big fan of the bitter leaf juice. Yes, she was actually when she was alive, she was a very big fan of the but uh, the bitter leaf juice. And on one of my visits, she made me drink that juice to cure a fever. I hated the taste at that time, but when I realized the fever was gone, hmm. I just braced up and humbly joined the Vitaly fan club. <laughs> you know, they always say those grey hair on our head ain't there for nothing, right? Yes, I know. Well, to get the best result from the bitter leaf plant, it's best taken freshly squeezed from the leaves. How to extract the bitter leaf um, juice? This can be done the old school way of rubbing the clean leaves in between your palms with the help of a little water and squeezing out the juice from the leaves. You can also use a juicer or a blender, you know, to blend the leaves with a little bit of water in a blender and strain out the extract with a cheesecloth, coffee strainer or a sieve with a tight mesh. Bitter leaf juice on its own is quite bitter and this taste might be a turn off for a lot of people, yes, especially me and some of my, and my siblings then. But now, you know, we've grown up and we know the use of it. Now, we just don't want to fool ourselves. We just have to take it. (laughs) So to reduce the bitterness of the bitter leaf juice, simply blend it with spinach or ugu that's popularly known as pumpkin leaf. If you still find it extremely bitter, then add some sweet fruit juice to it, such as pineapples or apples or oranges. Dry bitter leaf is also potent but has to be properly cleaned before use. Now, let's look at some of the health benefits of bitter leaf. Number one, it speeds up metabolism and therefore is great for weight loss. For those of you trying to we- lose weight, those of you thinking that, oh, I'm too overweight, oh, I'm obese, oh, my God, I don't like me like this, oh, I don't like myself like this. You know, you just have to go to your back here to get a, a vegetable called bitter leaf. Just squeeze it and take the juice you're going to lose a lot of weight. Bitter leaf juice also relieves fever and feverish condition. You know, take the uh, the freshly squeezed juice three times daily until the symptoms disappear. Also, it helps to reduce high sugar level in the blood and great for diabetic patients. Those of you that are diabetic, you've gone to the hospital, you've gone to this place, you've looked for solutions, but there are no solutions. Why don't you just go to the back of your house and get a bitter leaf vegetable, squeeze out the juice and take. What's stopping you? Is it the taste? I said it before, you can add freshly squeezed juice also, like pineapples, cucumbers, apples or oranges to sweeten it. Alright, I trust you'll do it. Also... 
squeeze the fresh leaves on your palm and apply the juice on skin rashes eczema ring worms and any superficial skin ailments you'll notice a change in the few days don't apply to open wounds as as much as it's bitter it's all it can be so painful so don't apply it to your open wounds but if you have rashes you have ringworms your child has ringworms or anything or eczema or facial problems facial ailments or those people that need it for uh you want to use you're looking for skincare products you don't need to go get uh, a costly skincare product just go to the back of your house get a uh, bitter leaf squeeze out the uh, the juice from it with your palm by rubbing it like this yes that's how you do it you rub it like this and apply it to your skin it will go a long way for you bitter leaf is said to soothe and also cure pie yes i can actually attest to that uh you know there was a time i was, I was teaching i was a school teacher in one primary school and the child then the, the parent brought the child to the school and the child then was crying of power she had to stool it out and then people were trying to push it back inside it was so disgusting and irritable but uh uh then the proprietress then she called us and we were like oh instead of doing all these things why not just get bitter leaf she rushed down got bitter leaf and squeezed out the juice it was difficult for the child to take it but we had to force her she took it and she got well so what are you waiting for Taking a cup of bitter leaf juice a day is a great way to detoxify the body of harmful toxins and um, harmful powers in the body. Also, bitter leaf juice nourishes the skin. It also cures mild stomach ailments. It is said to increase breast milk production in nursing mothers. You know, the wash roots and stack of bitter leaf are boiled and the infusion is taken as a warm uh, expeller. A cup of bitter leaf infusion taken first thing in the morning before meals. Like those of you that you have warm issues with warm in your stomach, you haven't the warm yourself. Use bitter leaf juice, freshly squeezed bitter leaf juice to actually do warm yourself. Okay, bitter leaf juice is used by local women in Guinea Basel to contract the uterus after childbirth and therefore should not be taken during pregnancy or if you're trying to conceive because high intake might cause miscarriages. Those of you that are trying to take, you're looking for the fruit of womb, don't try this. Don't try taking bitter leaf juice because as much as it's bitter and helpful to the body, it can be also harmful. It causes miscarriages. And those women that are pregnant, this is not for you. Don't try it, please. Please, disclaimer, don't try it. <laughs> All right. A cup of bitter leaf juice a day energizes you. Oh, yes, it does. It energizes you. In fact, before I go for today, do you know that applying bitter leaf juice to a part of uh, one's skin that is affected by rashes, ringworm, or any other skin diseases can be more effective than applying other things that can bring reaction to the body? I know I said it before, but do you know that instead of getting all those expensive uh, creams, this can actually help you. It saves your money, it saves your time, it saves your, your body from stress. Okay? Consumption of bitter leaf on a daily basis can help one in reducing his or her high lev uh, sugar level, making it moderate and also repair his or her pancreas. It also helps one's glucose content to be moderate. Bitter leaf supplements can help maintain a healthy lifestyle. Let's do well to always take a glass of bitter leaf juice every day. Add it to your daily diet plan and thank me later. Thank me later. <laughs> All right, this is where we bring the show to a close for today. Thank you for watching. Thank, thank you for staying with me. And thanks to our production team for pulling this all through together. I still remain Eunice Felicity. Do make sure you like our social media pages on Food and Health Corp and kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can drop any comment on the comment box below and subscribe. Turn on the not notification bell for our daily updates all right until i come away next time do stay safe